What is We've it? got a special guest. That? This smells terrific. And it's today's Neighborhood Eats. We're going to meet the woman in just moments who is feeding her soul by feeding her community all around her. And this stuff looks terrific. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, a childhood activity turned into a lifelong passion. And she is using her food to help give the people around her a taste of something they've never had before. We are talking about Je Tem Patisserie in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. That is Je Tem Patisserie, my baby, my love, my first business uh, here in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. I'm the first daughter, so my mom's at work and I'm like cooking and stuff and kids like sweet stuff. So I would take the box cake mix and put my own twist on it, right? It will fail a lot. So I cannot let this cake beat me. <laughs> so it, I think in the process of failing, that's where you literally learn more about yourself. They go to a culinary arts school um, in upstate New York. They actually have a bachelor's degree in business with a specialty in culinary arts. Learned from YouTube. That's where everybody learns everything. <laughs> I used to be called Jetem Macarons, and I would just sell macarons, a bunch of different flavors of macarons. I would go to farmers markets, pop-up shops. So we're not ashamed here to say that we accept food stamps, and we don't want anyone to be embarrassed that they're using food stamps here because this is a safe place. It's very important to make sure that not only everyone is able to eat my food, but everyone has access regardless of their payment options. Like when the moms and dads come in here with their kids um, and they know that they have the opportunity to use their food stamps to get this fancy food. I'm trying not to cry. Um, and it, it makes me happy knowing that like I'm able to help people, you know, experience a little bit of happiness through food. I'm making someone else happy through food. And um, <laughs> I was that kid before, you know, asking my mom for something that unfortunately she may not could have afforded at that time. You know, their mom can say yes because, you know, they're, they're able to afford it. I love providing a variety of pastries to people to be able to experience new things every single day, you know? And I think that's the beautiful part about my bakery. We change the menu every three months. All of my customers, they always ask me, what's new today? A customer was like, girl, you're gonna give me a heart attack always having something new. I can't try everything all the time. And I'm just like, no, yes, you can. Not only am I providing quality things to the community, but that the community is also experience quality overall within the space. The name of the bakery is Jatem. And it literally means I love you. Made from love, because everything I do is from love. Oh, man, we were so moved by this story yeah. that yeah. we had to have the one, the only, Jatay Kearsley. Oh, that's awesome. In studio with us. Um, we, you, I mean, we, we have never have gotten a round of applause. We only have a one-person audience, but <laughs> <laughs> but it's so incredible what you're doing. How you're spreading this love to an entire community who would have never had what we have on display here. Yes, uh, it's like it's a beautiful thing. I get emotional about it because it's like. Oh God, I'm not. No, gonna that's cry. okay. Oh, do you it. can because you've got an enormous amount of passion, and these people that you're offering all of these wonderful things to might have been children who didn't get them, or families who didn't get them, just like your family. And that's literally the, like the ethos of my business because, um, growing up, I my mom couldn't afford these things, so like, it's kind of like a passion for me to make mm -hmm. sure that. Everyone, no matter what your income, no matter what your race, no matter where you're from, you know, you're able to experience a little bit of happiness in your day. Oh, right. And I, I hope that my pastries do it for That's people. That's going to be my happy right there <laughs> in yes. about 10 seconds. Take us through what you brought in because it looks, ter and first of all, it looks like art, which oh, is amazing. It smells gorgeous. gorgeous. Absolutely I don't know if you wonderful. You guys can really see it, but it's gorgeous. So, what did you bring in? What do we have? Okay, so uh, in the bakery, do, we do offer a variety of dietary options for vegan people, gluten free people, mm -hmm. or just the people who like that good old butter. So, yeah. we. Um, I can do this. A good old free? butter. That's the yeah, all of this is gluten free. So right okay. now you're touching what we call the wave. It is hibiscus white chocolate mousse. Yeah, it is. Blackberry jam with the uh, gluten free almond dequa in the middle. 
And then Can we I get this all over my face? <laughs> Thank you so much. Because I intend to. And you guys report. have our specialty croissant. So every weekend uh -huh. at the patisserie, we offer a different specialty mm. croissant. So mm. you're holding the peach cobbler croissant. Mm. And you, you have the red amazing. velvet croissant. <laughs> yeah, so we have a, and you have a gluten-free <laughs> option for you so we're open and we're ready to accept and welcome everyone who's willing to come I'll hold it and right try out a dessert. I don't know how that to eat this beautiful. elegantly. Thank you. Don't get messy. Thank, <laughs> thank you so much for sharing your story. We only have about 20 seconds left but just what would you tell somebody out there another you know young person out there who is in a similar situation that you were in thinking I could never you do can. what you're doing now. You can. There's this the only thing that's stopping you is you. I love like, that. I love that. That's it. I love That's that. That's it. Thank you for coming in. Yes, thank you guys By the for way, me. this is absolutely wonderful. You can head to abc7ny.com slash mornings at 10 for much more on Neighborhood This hair peach cobbler <laughs> Like the fact that you invented this? Mm. <laughs> and you better and run to Je are you I promise you. And by the way, this, this actually sparked fights in your store too, oh, right? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. It was a fight. Did like you see how I, that's, that's the one I snatched? <laughs> there you go. We'll be right back.